participants from danger. Have faith in me, friends. My actual response tapes, both psychological and physical, have been prepared by the best scientific minds in all Toronto. Hell, that's more like it. Gives you a feeling of confidence, doesn't it? I suppose so. Where is Drone? I believe it's a dead planet located near the star Polaris. Oh. Gentlemen, try to think of me not as an unfeeling mechanism, but as your friend and comrade in arms. I understand how you must feel since you've seen your ship go down. What? You've been attacked by the despicable Cronin and have crash-landed on this unfriendly planet. What ship? What's she talking about? You have crawled aboard me, dazed, gasping from the poisonous fumes of water, half dead. Oh, no, now wait a minute. That swim I took? You've got it all wrong. We... I was just half dead, shot, wounded. You are alone. You are scared. You are separated from the drone fleet and have been cast adrift upon an alien planet. A little fear is nothing to be ashamed of, gentlemen. But remember, this is war, and war is cruel. We have no alternative but to drive the barbaric Cronin across space. But there must be a reasonable explanation for all of this. If I didn't know better, I'd say that an old pulp magazine story got mixed up in its response bank. But whatever it is, we better give it a complete overhaul. We can't listen to that stuff all day. We're about a quarter of a mile from the island, so let's land the ship and clean the goo out of the contacts when we get there. Hey, what's going on? We're stopping. Hey, lifeboat, what are you doing? Quiet. Be calm and trust in me. I'll scan the island. Scan the island? What's she talking about? You better humor her. Lifeboat, that island's okay. We checked it personally. Perhaps you did. But in lightning quick warfare, your own senses cannot be trusted. They are too limited, too prone to interpret what they wish. My electronic senses, on the other hand, are emotionless eternally vigilant and infallible within their limits. But there isn't anything there. I perceive a foreign spaceship on the island. Oh, that's our ship. It does not have drone markings. But it has no enemy markings either. I painted it myself. In war, we must assume that what is not ours is the enemy's. I understand your desire to set foot on land again, but I take into account factors that a drone, motivated by his emotions, may overlook. Consider the apparent emptiness of the strategic piece of land. The unmarked spaceship put tokenly out for bait. But wait a minute, our fleet is no longer in this vicinity. All right, I've had it. That's enough. I'm tired of arguing with you. Go directly to that island. That's an order. I cannot obey that order. You are unbalanced from your harrowing escape from death. Now, enough of this nonsense. I'm just going to activate the cutoff switch and I'll show that. Go <laughs> to your senses, gentlemen. My mission is to protect soldiers like yourselves when you're in shock. For your own safety, I must warn you not to touch any of my controls. You are mentally unbalanced. Later, when our position is safer, I will administer to you. Right now, my full energies must be devoted towards detection or escape from the enemy. Where are we going? To return to the drone fleet as soon as I can find it. We sailed the empty seas and tried for the rest of the afternoon and far into the night. About midnight, Arnold and I met in the cabin and shared our last sandwich. Our lifeboat rushed madly over the waves, searching for a fleet that existed 500 years ago upon an entirely different planet. You said you've heard of these drones? Vaguely. They were a non-human lizard race that lived on the sixth planet near the star Polaris. They died out for a century ago. And what about the Cronin? They were also lizards and died out about the same time. All that race is gone except for this lifeboat, apparently. And us? We've been drafted as drone soldiers. Do you think we can reason with this computer? I don't see how. As far as this boat is concerned, the war is still on. I can only interpret data based on that premise. She's probably listening to us now. No, I don't think so. You see, it's not a mind reader. Its perception sensors are only aimed at those thoughts that are geared specifically at it. Yes, sir, They just don't build them this way anymore. Oh, I wish I could get my hands on Gordon. You know, this is actually a very interesting situation. The machine is acting very logically upon no longer existing conditions. Therefore, you could say that the machine is the victim of a systematized delusion. You mean the lifeboat is nuts? No, no, I believe the proper word is paranoid. But it doesn't matter. It will end pretty soon. Why? It's obvious. The boat's prime objective is to keep us alive. Our sandwiches are gone and the only food is on the island. I figure it will have to take a chance and go back. Gentlemen, at present, I am unable to locate the drone fleet. Therefore, I am turning back to scan the island again. Fortunately, there are no enemies in the immediate area, so I can devote myself to your care. Well, it's about time you got around to us. We're hungry. Feed us. Of course, immediately. There you are, on the train.
What's that? It looks like clay. It smells like machine oil. Hey, what's this supposed to be? That is easel. It's the staple food of the drone people. I can prepare it in 16 different ways. Well, I guess we better try it. All right. Oh, tastes like machine oil. You can't eat that. Of course you can. An adult drone consumes 5.3 pounds of diesel a day and cries for more. Now listen, we are not drones, we are humans, an entirely different species. The war you think you're fighting ended 500 years ago. Can't eat diesel? Our food is on the island. Ah, uh, yes. Your delusion is a common one among fighting men. It is an escape fantasy, a retreat from an intolerable situation. Gentlemen, I beg you, face reality. You face reality, or I'll have you dismantled bolt by bolt. Threats do not disturb me. I know what you've been through. Possibly you've suffered some brain damage from your exposure to water. Poisonous? To drones. If absolutely necessary, I am also equipped to perform brain surgery. It is a drastic measure, but there can be no coddling in war. You see, all of my scalpels are razor sharp and ready for action. Scalpels? Never mind, we're feeling better already. Uh, that's a fine looking batch of diesel, isn't it, Arnold? Mmm, yes, it's delicious. Nothing is too good for our boys in uniform. Go ahead, eat lots of it. There is plenty more where that came from. Oh, that's delicious. Good. I am moving towards the island now, and I promise you that in just a few minutes you will be more comfortable. The temperature here is unbearably hot. It's amazing that you haven't gone into a coma. Any other drone would have. Soon, I will have it down to the drone normal temperature of 20 degrees below zero. And now, I'll play our national anthem. Uh... What? I'm cold. Well, you should be perfectly comfortable. Drones live at 20 degrees below zero, and we're drones. Those cooling tubes are all frosted. Yes, I know. I just wrote my name in the frost in the park porthole. Hey, wait a minute. I've got an idea. Follow my lead. Why not? Lead on, fellow drone. Give me the canteen. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just going to get a little exercise. You've got to stay fit, you know. Well, that is true. Hey, here you are, Jerry. Catch! Well, this canteen's heavy. That's okay. Just throw it right back. Come on, heave it right in. Give me, let's see your curve. Be careful with that receptacle. It's filled with deadly water. That's okay. We'll be careful. Here we go. That was a bad shot, old man. Oh, how careless of me. I seem to have broken the cooling tubes. Look, there's cooling fluid all over the floor. That's my fault. I should have taken precautions for internal accidents. It won't happen again, but the situation is serious. I cannot repair the cooling tubes myself. I'm unable to properly cool the room. Say, that's tough. Now to just drop us off on the island. That is impossible. My first duty is to preserve your lives, and you can't live long in the climate of this planet. Therefore, I'm going to take whatever precautions are necessary for your safety. What are you going to do? I will scan the island once more. If our drone forces are not present, we will go to the one place on this planet that can sustain drone life. What place? The southern polar ice cap. The climate there is almost ideal, 30 degrees below zero. And now, you will stay in the cabin. Think! I am thinking. Nothing's coming out. We've got to get off when it reaches the island. It'll be our last chance. Now look, we know its internal scanning isn't very good. When we reach the album, maybe we should cut our power cable. That wouldn't work. You couldn't get within 15 feet of it. It's got an electric charge and all the cables and controls. I am now scanning the island. The place looks fine today. It sure does. I bet our forces are dug in underground. They are not. I scan to a depth of 100 feet. Well, under the circumstances, I think we should examine it a little more carefully. It is deserted. I cannot let you endanger your lives by going ashore. Drone needs her soldiers, especially sturdy, heat-resistant types like you. We like this planet. Spoken like a patriot. I know you must be suffering, but now I am going to the South Pole and give you veterans the rest you deserve. Wait, wait, wait. You don't understand. We're, uh, operating under special orders. We weren't supposed to expose them to any vessel below the level of Super Dreadnought. We're a suicide squad. 